Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Nay from Nay's Crafty World and in today's video we are going to be looking at one of my custom journals for 2024. At the beginning of the year I did set up the first half of this person's journal and now that it's the second half mid-year I'm setting up their second journal. If you'd like to see the first journal setup, I did one full year bullet journal setup and then one half year bullet journal setup. For this journal, I went with one of the journals from JC Notebook, which is a notebook or a stationery shop here in Vietnam. They make these beautiful bullet journals, which I absolutely love. It's actually very difficult to find proper bullet journals where I live so I either have to get them online or I can go to JC's notebook or JC notebooks. So to start we have this beautiful notebook with a little pen loop here. You can see it's definitely already been filled in. Now let's get into the flip through. This journal belongs to Laura. Laura is my best friend, so I've set this bullet journal up for her. She really enjoys journaling, but more in like a, a writing journaling style. But recently, she's also started to want to try out a few different kinds of creative expression. So she asked me to include some extra tidbits in this journal to help her kind of get a bit more creative. Here is the 2024 year cover page. I have some beautiful washi tape from IEB washi tape which is in a Van Gogh style with just a few little quotes for her life is beautiful and explore your creativity I thought that was quite appropriate for what she wants to achieve this year on our first setup we have the year at a glance so for this setup I kind of mixed the year at a glance and the future log together. So here she's able to set up her calendars for the next six months. And then the future log part is where she can write any events or birthdays or any planned events that are happening in each month. So she has a space here and here where she can write down anything that she wants to remember for that month. Next up we have her goals page. So this is where she has, she can write down her personal goals, health goals, fitness goals and work goals. I did add this washi tape at the bottom here just for extra decoration. I realized that it does cut off a bit of the work, but uh, knowing her, she might not have as many work goals as she would personal goals. For the memories page, this is a new page for my custom bullet journals. I thought this would be a nice little addition next to the goals. So as she continues through each month, she can just write down any specific memories that she had, anything special that had happened during those months. Laura really likes to track her fitness. So for this fitness tracker, I have the next six months and then a blank key. So this is basically where she can write down any specific kinds of exercises that she does whether it's hit strength training or cardio or yoga she can write down and color code them if she wants there are 31 little squares here so as she goes she can just write down and mark off which exercises she does on what days continuing on this side we have our period tracker so with this one as well for the next six months 
I've gone ahead and written down a few keywords and she can decide if she wants to color code them or write down symbols. I went with spotting, light, heavy, cramps, tired, acne and headache. I know some people like to track their cycle length so I wrote down a section here where she can write down her cycle length each month. So for our first monthly setup we have July. I went for a very simple bee theme. These are color free doodle cover pages. So she will be able to color in her own cover pages with whatever colors that, that she would like. So this one is a bee theme just because it's summer here at this time and I thought it would be a nice little summer vibe for her. Continuing for the spreads for the month. So she has a month at a glance with a few things that she can fill in. She has a to-do list, goals, events, and a new little section is something a bit more personal, her entertainment or what she consumes every month. So we have watching, you can write down movies, series, maybe YouTube channels, listening, that could be music or podcasts, reading, what book are you reading or how many books have you read? She's similar to me where we basically read one book over a few months, but there is space for that to write down your current book or a book that you've finished. Next up we have Habit Tracker. So this is a very blank Habit Tracker. I did put in the months for her or the I did put in the days for her. So she's able to at the top write down what is the habit she's tracking and then check off on the days that she does it for this one i did include six obviously she doesn't need to track six full habits but rather have more than you need than not enough then we have a workouts tracker so this is different from the fitness tracker the fitness tracker is very much writing down what exercises you did and tracking them over time so that she can see what she does throughout the rest of the year. Whereas here in the monthly section, she has her more detailed workouts. So she can write down the date that she does the workout, the description of what is the workout. And then if she needs to, she can write down reps, repetitions and sets and the weights that she does as well. And then she did ask me to include some challenges. This is kind of just personal little fun things that she can do every month. So for July, July's challenge, I did a self-care checklist. Very basic one, nothing too complicated. A challenge where you can check in with yourself and make sure that you're spending a little me time throughout the month. So here we have do a facial, try a hair mask, light a candle, try an eye mask, eat a healthy snack, read a good book and give yourself a manicure. Next up we have our weekly section. So for her she she likes writing but she hasn't been writing as much as she usually does so what i did is i left her small little sections for you every day where she can either write down like a little note a poem uh, make a doodle make a to-do list whatever the case per day and because it's smaller sections it's a bit less intimidating than having a full open page where you always feel like you want to start at the top and fill the entire page so with this one 
she has the option of making a smaller note and something that's a bit less intimidating but also weekly planning so she can make a to-do list or write down any tasks that she needs to to do that month or that week i've included five weeks in each month just because sometimes there's a bit extra sometimes the month starts on a weird day and there's like one day for the first week so there's five weeks in every month set up and then just because it worked out like that there are a few open pages so if she does have a day where something really intense happens or she has a lot to say she can go to this section write the date and fill in the the whole page or how many ever pages she wants as well as if she feels like she wants to make an intense to-do list draw a picture make a sketch write a poem all those things she can do here here we are at august we're already halfway through july now so august is coming quite soon here i went for a oh, kind of like a magical whale theme where the whales are flying in space i thought it was really cute i saw quite a few of these doodles on pinterest so i did kind of copy a few of them from different places just the ones i really thought were thought were really cute and then just added little stars again this is in a doodle style so she's able to color in whatever color she'd like if she wants to color in the full page or just color in the the whales or even if she doesn't want to do any of that she can just leave it as is so each month is basically set up in the same way so we have a few differences just in the decorations here i have this gorgeous handmade paper that i included behind the habit tracker but with the month at a glance she still has the same layout workouts is also the same but here for august we have a personal growth kind of bingo board so here's a bunch of things that she can go through and kind of challenge herself to do a bunch of new things or do something more often things like go for a walk go to the beach start learning a new language go on a date with yourself watch a documentary call your mom just random little personal growth things that'll help her out if you'd like to read all of these just give the video a pause and you can go through them again we have the same weekly spreads with a few pages at the end for september we have this very cute if i have to say so myself mushroom theme with the same month at a glance and different decorations for this month's challenge i did a photography challenge so just because she wants to start doing a few new things i thought i'd add in some photography so these ones are just basically a photography prompt list she can go through it pick a few that she wants to do but hopefully she does all of them maybe post them on her instagram if she likes it's basically a self-portrait selfie outfit of the day clouds something green take a picture of a door a reflection your work or your job with a friend October of course I had to go with a little Halloween theme with my little ghost here's the month at a glance again and a habit tracker with this really cool textured paper 
For October's challenge, I did a kind of a Halloween drawing prompt list, similar to, for example, Inktober, but I just went with a few of my own prompts. For November, we have a coffee theme. Love coffee. Living in Vietnam, we both absolutely love coffee and we love strong coffee. So this is a perfect theme for November because in November, it starts getting a little cooler, a lot more rainy. So it's always nice to have a hot cup of coffee. For November's challenge, I have a bit of something unique. I'm not sure if all of this is so doable, but I feel like if she has the opportunity, she might just do these. So this is a crazy traveling challenge. Number one is the hide and seek challenge. Two is the surprise trip. Three, the fly away challenge. And four is street food. If you want to read the descriptions, you can pause the video and go through them. And for our last month, December, of course, December is Christmas. So why not go for a little deer doodle? This is some of my favorite paper. I got this from Notebook Therapy's junk journal box set. They have these beautiful colorful leaves and petals in, embedded in the paper. The challenge for this month is you're an author. December is our main rainy season here and it's cold and a lot of us of the expat community probably just stay indoors. So why not take the December and be a little author for short stories. So here I have a few prompts that I gave her for some short stories. For example, the day I found out I was the last person left on earth. And there you have it. That is the end of my bullet journal flip through for my custom bullet journal for the second half of 2024. I hope you enjoyed this flip through. I'm sure that Laura is going to enjoy her journal. If you do, Laura, leave a comment down below if you end up watching this video. I hope you enjoy this journal and have a very crafty day. Bye.